Today, we are gonna make some grass. No, I'm not in Colorado, so it's not gonna be that kind of grass. It's our techniques that are so simple and sensible, your models have practically built them themselves. <laughs> Hello folks, it's Mad Dog Merv. Welcome to the Kit Hoarder Stash. Today I've got another resin kit. Um, I did a resin car not too long ago and actually have been doing a build on that. Uh, that's going to be on the MRS website when they get things back up and running again. And you'll have to check that out, that's pretty neat. This one I pulled out of my stash because not too long ago I bought a Japanese tank, a Hago tank. In 135th scale and here is a 135th scale imperial japanese army tanker from world war ii this is a good old verlinden kit so this thing is very old let's check this thing out shall we it's going to be uh, pretty simple i'm sure <laughs> okay so no instructions just so you know you gotta go by the picture and here's the little baggie mm. Guess I'm gonna have to cut the widow baggy. Hermetically sealed and placed on Funkin' Wagnall's porch since noon today. Okay. Well, here's the parts breakdown. We got a couple of heads. You got one guy uh, with a helmet. Uh, there, make, see if that makes it easier. One guy with a helmet. And one with just like a bandana, uh, headband, sweatband, whatever you want to call it. And here's his britches. Big old block we're going to have to cut off of there, but that's fine. And here is a left arm with a glove. And here is a right arm with a glove. And it looks like he's holding something. Don't know what, but he's holding something. Um, a knife. It's certainly not big enough to be a sword, but yeah, a knife, you know. It's hard to see. Um, and here's the lower legs with the chews and the wrappings around the legs there. And finally, the upper torso, his chest. And it's got a molded in like knapsack um, on his back there. So um, that's it. <laughs> pretty, pretty simple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight parts. And the option to have either the tanker helmet or the other, um, like the bandana. I just call it a bandana. I don't know what else to call it. Like a sweatband so anyway um looks like it'll go pretty quick and easy keep in mind that with resin kits the thing you you've got to do number one is is wash the parts get all that mold release off simple green works really good for that um also just dish detergent and water works good for that as well so make sure to, to clean your parts good and then it's important to prime them and depending on which primer you like to use um, and make sure you wash it good because otherwise the primer kind of beads up and doesn't doesn't work out so good but um, you could either use it like a spray can or an enamel or um, the uh, mission models which is what I usually use so then you prime it and give it your base coats of paint Painting the face on these things is always a lot of fun. I really suck at the little scale, the well, little scale, 135th. I mean, even at a big scale, I'm no good. I just, I don't do faces well at all. So, um, but hey, I gotta have something for my Hago tank. So this made complete sense and I'll get him built up before too long. And a kit like this, since Verlinden isn't around anymore, uh, you'll have a hard time finding it except for eBay or like a national hobby show, something like that, where guys have a ton of this stuff just hoarded. 
and uh, I think I paid either three or five bucks for, for this. I don't think I paid over five bucks uh, for this guy, probably like three. So the nice thing is when they were newer, they sold for, you know, a few bucks. They were, you know, a little pricey is, is I'll just say that. Uh, now, you can pick them up dirt cheap if you can find them. So anyway, thanks for joining us. We'll see you again next week with some other weirdness. Thank you.